The following is a production of God Sounds Incorporated. For more information on our voiceover services and to see our online store, please go to godsounds.com. God Sounds, where faith is heard. Chapter 2 Immersed in the Holy Ghost The baptism of the Holy Ghost is a great beginning. I think the best word we can say is, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? The greatest difficulty today with us is to be held in the place where it shall be God only. It is so easy to get our own mind to work. The working of the Holy Ghost is so different. I believe there is a mind of Christ and we may be so immersed in the Spirit that we are all the day asking, What will thou have me to do? This has been a day in the Holy Ghost. The last three months have been the greatest days of my life. I used to think if I could see such and such things worked, I should be satisfied. But I have seen greater things than I ever expected to see and I am more hungry to see greater things yet. The great thing at conventions is to get us so immersed in God that we may see signs and wonders in the name of the Lord Jesus, a place where death has taken place and we are not, for God has taken us. If God has taken hold of us, we will be changed by His power and might. You can depend on it the Ethiopian will be changed. I find God has a plan to turn the world upside down where we are not. When I have been at my wit's end and have seen God open the door, I have felt I should never doubt God again. I have been taken to another place that was worse still. There is no place for us, and yet a place where God is, where the Holy Ghost is just showing forth and displaying His grace, a place where we will never come out, where we are always immersed in the Spirit, the glory of God being seen upon us. It is wonderful. There is a power behind the scenes that moves things. God can work in such a marvelous way. I believe we have yet to learn what it would be with a Pentecostal church in England that understood truly the work of intercession. I believe God, the Holy Ghost, wants to teach us that it is not only the people on the platform who can move things by prayer. You people, the Lord can move things through you. We have to learn the power of the breath of the Holy Ghost. If I am filled with the Holy Ghost, He will formulate the word that will come into my heart. The sound of my voice is only by the breath that goes through it. When I was in a little room at Bern waiting for my passport, I found a lot of people, but I couldn't speak to them. So I got hold of three men and pulled them onto me. They stared, but I got them on their knees. Then we prayed, and the revival began. I couldn't talk to them, but I could show them the way to talk to someone else. God will move upon the people to make them see the glory of God just as it was when Jesus walked in this world, and I believe the Holy Ghost will do special wonders and miracles in these last days. I was taken to see a young woman who was very ill. The young man who showed me the way said, I am afraid we shall not be able to do much here because of her mother and the doctors are coming. I said, This is what God has brought me here for. And when I prayed, the young woman was instantly healed by the power of God. God, the Holy Ghost, says in our hearts today that it is only He who can do it. After that, we got crowds and I ministered to the sick among them for two hours. The secret for the future is living and moving in the power of the Holy Ghost. One thing I rejoice in is that there need not be an hour or a moment 
when I do not know the Holy Ghost is upon me. Oh, this glorious life in God is beyond expression. It is God manifest in the flesh. Oh, this glorious unction of the Holy Ghost, that we move by the Spirit. He should be our continual life. The Holy Ghost has the last thoughts of anything that God wants to give. Glory to God for the Holy Ghost. We must see that we live in the place where we say, What wilt thou have me to do? and are in the place where He can work in us to will and to do of His good pleasure. You have just heard a production of God Sounds Incorporated. To support our ministry, you may purchase this audiobook at any of the following locations. Godsounds.com, audible.com, or at the iTunes store. You may also support us at patreon.com slash godsounds to receive complimentary downloads.